Hello everyone, I wanted to make a quick video for you to share an interesting experience lately that I've had at work to do with how Lambda functions scale when you're using SQS as an event source. And it was kind of a peculiar behavior that I haven't seen before. And I think it's something worth knowing about if you use Lambda and SQS at work or maybe in some of your pet projects. Um, so before I get into that though, just a quick little high level overview about SQS and Lambda. Uh, so a lot of people use the SQS service as an event source for their Lambda functions. You can have like a, an SNS topic or you can have someone like even directly publishing into your queue. And it's really great for asynchronous applications. So someone will deliver messages into your queue. Could be like something that happened in your organization uh, or maybe someone places an order for example. And then you have a Lambda function that picks that message up and then processes it, maybe save stuff to a database, whatever it may be. And so how the typical behavior works is kind of like what I have in front of you right here in this screenshot. So you have a queue, uh, then you have it associated with the Lambda function as an event source. And as messages get delivered into your queue, Lambda will keep tabs on you know, how many messages are in this queue and then scale itself up. So you can potentially have your Lambda function handling tens of thousands of messages at once uh, if you're reading them in batch or if you're reading them one by one, maybe a little bit slower. Um, but Lambda is supposed to automatically scale up when you have a lot of messages in your queue so that you can chew through them quicker. Obviously, if you have an SQS queue, you wanna keep the count as low as possible, but you don't wanna necessarily process too fast where you have some kind of you know, downstream impact impact. Um, so it's important for Lambda to be able to scale up and down as the message volume changes. Uh, so herein lies the problem with uh, our application. So the way our application works is it uses Lambda and SQS and whenever messages get sent, you know, it pulls those and it saves to a database somewhere. And we had an upstream client that did a basically a batch dump of uh, millions and millions of messages, something like 100 million messages or something like that. So normally we get around like a million an hour. So we don't really have a problem scaling it up. And actually we set a reserve concurrency on our Lambda function to 100 so that we don't scale up too fast and like swarm our downstream client with too many notifications as well. So something interesting that was happening was um, when our client dumped all these messages into our queue, we were not getting close to that 100 reserve concurrency. Now, as a result of this, our queue was backing up significantly and we were not getting through the messages at any reasonable rate. So what should have happened is that when Lambda saw that huge number of messages being delivered into our queue or present in our queue, it should have scaled itself up and we should have had at least 100 concurrent invocations at all times. And there's a metric in the AWS console under the monitoring section for concurrent invocations for your Lambda function that you can go and go and look at and see like how many are in flight at any one time. Now, for whatever reason, that wasn't happening. And it was a very bizarre thing because you know, I was thinking that, you know, you set your limit to 100, it should go to 100. Like, why isn't Lambda scaling up correctly? And the thing that made it even more bizarre was that there were periods of time where, you know, it would stay at a lower level, like 30 concurrent executions. And then times it would scale up to like 80 and it stayed there for a little while. And then it would go back down to like 30 or 50. And I was like, what the hell is happening here? Why is it doing this? I tried all sorts of things. I tried to change change the number of messages in the batch. I tried to raise the concurrency to like 500. I tried to turn off reserve concurrency. So use unreserved concurrency for the Lambda function. Nothing seemed to work. Uh, so this is when I started doing some, some Googling to try and figure out like, am I missing something here with how Lambdas work? And it turns out that I was missing something, but it's a very buried in the details kind of quirk in the way that Lambda functions work uh, with SQS. So I came across this web page here um, and it's titled, why is not my Lambda function with an Amazon SQS event source scaling optimally? And uh, you know, I, I was looking at this as I was trying to debug the issue uh, the other day. And so if you look at this, um, you know, identify and resolve any Lambda function invocation errors. To prevent errors happening at scale, Lambda throttles function scaling when invocation errors occur. When the invocation errors are resolved, Lambda continues to scale the function. And if you go to you know, either this web page or this web page, I know it hyperlinks here, but it says nothing about the, the specifics of how this feature works or how this back off works. And so when I started to look at our Lambda function, we do throw errors all the time, but it is an expected behavior. Um, one of the, the ways that our, our function works is if you have 
you know, many messages with the same ID and they're both trying to write to the database at once. One of them will fail, the other one will succeed. And since we read in a batch, we basically have a lot of failures that are being thrown from our Lambda function. And that's exactly what was happening in this case. Because our function was throwing not necessarily a high amount of errors, but it was something at like 96 or 95% success rate, it was not scaling up all the way to 100 concurrent requests, which is what our reserve concurrency limit was. And I finally figured this out and you know I got on the horn with AWS, I filed a premium support ticket, and it turns out that they can um, disable this feature. It's it's not a bug, it's actually a feature. They do this on purpose so that, you know I, I don't know why, what the rationale is. I guess it could be argued that this is a good thing. But um, once they turned it off, I saw my function return to normal and start scaling all the way up to 100. But there was one kind of suggestion or learned lesson here. Um, you should not be throwing fu throwing function errors regularly from your Lambda function. You should now be using this new feature that they released pretty recently, uh, which is partial batch response for SQS as an event source. And how this feature works is that when you read a batch of messages from a queue, like say for example, you read 10 messages at once um, and you know maybe eight succeed and two fail. Instead of like deleting the eight messages that succeeded within your function's invocation, um, like a lot of people used to do that because that's how you handled partial failures in your Lambda function. You would delete the ones that succeeded and the ones that didn't succeed would basically go back in your queue. Instead, with this feature, you can just return the IDs of the ones that failed as part of your Lambda function's response. And then Lambda will know to just return those two messages, the IDs of those two messages back into your queue. And you don't have to throw an error or throw an exception all the way up in your Lambda function. So this way, you won't have these scaling implications that can bite you uh, if this ever does end up happening to you. Uh, so I thought this was an interesting experience. It's something that I wanted to share, something that you know no one really talks about and usually doesn't become a problem until you know, you're operating at really large scale. So uh, something uh, that I think was worth talking about and I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.